a party goods company is making novelty crowns out of paper. They start with a rectangular piece of paper and then cut three semicircles, each with a six inch diameter, out of the top to create a crown. So they start with a rectangle and then they cut these semicircles out of the top of that rectangle. Find the area and perimeter of the crown below. So let's just start with the perimeter of it. So we have to find the lengths of each of these semicircle arcs right over here, and then add those, and then add them to these lengths over here, which is which that latter part is pretty straightforward. But let's just think about how long, how long this is right over here that I am highlighting in blue. And we know that this is a semicircle. It is half of a full circle that has diameter six. And if we wanted to know the circumference of the entire circle, the circumference of this entire circle is given by and this really comes straight out of the definition of pi, it's pi times the diameter. Or another way to think about it, the diameter is two radiuses, so it's two pi times the radius. But they give us the diameter right over here. The diameter is six inches. The diameter is six inches. So the circumference, this entire circumference right over here, is going to be equal to, the circumference is equal to six pi. That's the circumference of the entire circle. If we think about there's the circumference of one of the semicircles, so circumference of, or maybe I should say the length of a semicircle, is going to be half of this. It's half the circle. So this length right over here is going to be 3 pi. And then this one, is the exact same length, is going to be 3 pi again, half of the circumference of the entire circle. And then this over here is going to be 3 pi again. And now we're ready to figure out the perimeter. You have three, three 3 pi's, so it's going to be 3 times 3 pi plus 6 inches, plus 6, plus 18, plus 6 again. Plus 6 again. So this is 9 pi. That's this part right over there. 9 pi plus, so this is going to be 12 plus 18 plus 30. That's the perimeter. And if we wanted to, if we wanted to, let me write this down. This is equal to the perimeter. And if we wanted to get the exact number, you could substitute 3.14 for a, a rough approximation of pi. Or we could get our calculator out and get the exact, or pretty close to the exact number. Even the calculator doesn't have an infinite precision for pi. But let's, let's get the calculator out. And if we want to get 9 pi, 9 times pi, plus 30, that gets us 58 point, and I'll just round to the hundreds, 58.27 inches. 58.27 inches. So it's equal to 58.27 inch inches, because all of these units were in inches. 58.27 inches. That's our perimeter. Now let's think about the area. To figure out the area, what we can do is we could figure out the area of the rectangle before they cut out these circles, so the area of the entire rectangle. And then we can subtract from that the area of these semicircles. So the area of the rectangle, the area of the rectangle is just the base times the height. It's equal to 18 times 6 inches. Let me write the units down. 18 inches times 6 inches. And this is equal to 10 times 6 is 60. 8 times 6 is 48. So it becomes 108 inches squared. Inches, inches squared. 108 square inches. That's the area of the entire rectangle. We're not done yet, because we haven't cut out the semicircles. The area, if these were complete circles, if you think about them as complete circles, the area of a complete circle is pi r squared. So area of a circle is going to be pi times the radius squared. The diameter here is 6. The radius here is going to be 3. So the radius is going to be 3 inches. So it's pi times 3 inches squared, which is equal to 9 pi square inches. That's for each of these complete circles. So it's 9 pi for each of the complete ones. If you take half of them, I'll write it over here, area of the semicircle is going to be 9 pi over 2 inches or squared inches. And we have three of them. We have three of these of these semicircles. So the area of this crown, I'll do it this in pink, the area of the crown is going to be equal to the area of the rectangle, which is 108 square inches, minus 
three times the area of the semicircles. Minus this, minus this, minus this, minus three of the semicircles. Minus three times nine pi over two inches squared. And this is equal to 108 minus, what is this? Minus 27 over two pi inches squared. And you could leave it that way if you just wanted to leave it in terms of pi. But as we know, pi is a number, and we can use our calculator to evaluate it. We get, get the calculator out, we have 108 minus 27, I'll just write it as 27 pi over 2. 27 pi divided by 2. All right? 108 minus 27 pi divided by 2 will give us, it will give us, 65, and if I round to the 100, 65.59 inches, square inches to be exact, or to be get the right units, 65.59 square inches. So this is equal to 65.59 inches squared, and we are done.